Here we go with the 60 pound pig. I'm gonna rotisserie it right there for Thanksgiving. This was only about $200. I bought this from eBay. Uh, it's not too bad. I had to actually weld it, uh, the motor onto the bracket um, because my one pig that I had that was uh, probably about 70 pounds, uh, it was always jumping the motor from this bracket and I had to clamp something down. I had a uh, C-channel clamps and I had uh, a couple of vice grip clamps. I was actually thinking about maybe putting a, a, a bracket right here to right here, um, down here onto the um, this portion of the rotisserie um, just to hold it up. That way it's more secure. But I did a little modification. Like I said, I just welded it. Nothing nice. I didn't have any gas. So there are good solid welds, but they're not the prettiest. So, um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It was not propane. Uh, what I also forgot to mention is I modified it. Um, I went ahead and put bought some black black iron um, piping put some caps on the end and I cut with the sawzall or with the um, grinder side grinder and I made little holes put a T and I spouted it out right here so it's going to be a propane um, propane rotisserie but I'm going to throw some charcoal in there just to give it a little uh, flavor or if some wood if I want to but yeah I'll get back to you in a minute This will give it flavor. Mm -hmm. What is that, rosemary? Rosemary. And then lemongrass. And I soaked it in water, lemon, garlic powder, salt. Was it overnight? So we went ahead and um, put the shaft through the the pig, the rotisserie portion. We went ahead and stuffed it, wired it up. Every now and then, I do this every year, and once in a while I have to cut the tail because it's not buttoned up with the the bracket. And we want to make sure that the nose is beyond this point because it's going to hit anything over here from the rotisserie. Uh, this rotisserie is probably good for 50 to 60 pounds. I've tried a 70 pound and it messed up the nose pretty bad. But um, I might get an upgrade. I bought this one off eBay for $200. So it looks like we got it um, all in. It looks like for the modifications, I'm going to take this square tubing and probably cut it back so that way this can be pushed back further. Um, yeah. The nose is always touching this, so we're going to take a piece of string and tie it up. So I went ahead and modified the uh, the nose, put some um, string on it, some cooking string, and tied it up to the hooks right here so the nose is not touching. Before, uh, I, I had it on there, like, I think it was probably my first one I had on here. Uh, it roughed up the nose pretty bad right here so um you always want to make sure you have that space between the the butt we had to cut the tail off see that the tail is gone um so yeah uh not too bad i converted over to the propane style so that way we can control it a little bit more better uh this is not hopping off you can see it's actually putting a little bit of a bend on it um from being on here but the weight is a big deal for this motor but it's not hopping off anymore uh, you can see it how it used to be it pushes back and forth slowly um, and it would hop off but other than that um, it looks like we're gonna have ourselves a nice uh, rotisserie pig for Thanksgiving and uh, we'll see how it plays maybe I should turn it down a, a tad bit so I'm not overcooking it. So about right there. Because I threw some coals in there and some um, some wood chips as you see. Um, 
So yeah, works out pretty good. Uh, I had to make another one of these forks right here because the last one broke. It was it was weird because this the thin um, square tubing that it came with it, it snapped in half uh, last year last Christmas and um, so we we had to cut it up and, and put it in the oven because uh, I didn't have enough time to weld it or anything like that or make a new one. But I went ahead and made a new one and I actually extended my forks. Um, really long so that's a lot um, more better too and I put a wing nut bolt on there um, but yeah other than that looks pretty good and we'll see how it plays looks like it's getting burnt so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because the coals are are catching on but yeah 